I'm Dr. Julian Hungerford, a senior application scientist here at Micromeroidix. Micromeroidix is the world's leading supplier of high performance systems to characterize particles, powders, and porous materials. Today, we're going to be looking at the Breakthrough Analyzer, or the BTA. Before we begin, though, we're going to talk a little bit more about what Breakthrough is and why it's important. Breakthrough is the collection of adsorption data under constant flow by measuring the concentration of gases at the outlet of an adsorption column over time. Initially, the adsorbent will completely adsorb the adsorbent gas entering the column. Eventually, breakthrough will occur when the concentration of the adsorbent gas is first detected. Lastly, saturation will be reached. Once all adsorbent species have reached saturation, the breakthrough experiment will reach equilibrium. By analyzing a breakthrough curve, we can determine the adsorption capacity, selectivity, and analyze kinetics as well as mass transfer limitations. In addition, we can mimic process conditions and gas concentrations. Breakthrough allows you to collect multi-component adsorption data much easier than a static adsorption instrument. The BTA is tailorable to fit your desired experiments through customization of detector as well as gas compatibility, including the use of toxic gases through an enhanced corrosion resistant model. Additionally, the flow rate of the unit is flexible, ranging from as low as one standard cubic centimeter per minute to several hundreds standard cubic centimeter per minute, depending on the needs of your application. Mass spectrometers are generally the preferred detectors. They offer a wide range of detectable adsorbents between two and 300 atomic mass units and have excellent detection limits down to single digit parts per million. Additionally, it is a fast and accurate technique. Alternatively, FTIR can be used to distinguish components with the same atomic mass number, which cannot be achieved using a mass spectrometer. This is especially important if your application involves the separation of hexanes or xylenes. The BTA offers several advantages. First, it has a simple column design with exceptional flow control, which enables multiple gases to be used with highly controlled blending. The sample column accommodates small quantities of material, which is ideal for R&D applications. Thermostated environmental chamber provides constant temperatures and prevents condensation of vapor streams. The patented blending valves provide advantages for gas mixing and minimization of system dead volume. The fully automated experimental design allows users to set up analyses for activation, breakthrough, desorption, and reactivation, as well as cycles of all of the above. Next, we'll begin with an instrument overview of the components of the BTA. The standard BTA configuration contains three MFCs and two blending valves, one dedicated to a carrier gas feed and two additional adsorbate gases. A maximum of six gas flows with five blending valves can be configured in the instrument. A maximum of two vapor sources can be configured in the instrument. The maximum furnace temperature is 1,050 degrees Celsius with a quartz glass sample column and 750 degrees Celsius with a standard stainless steel column at atmospheric pressure. The thermostated environmental chamber can maintain a constant temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, which will prevent condensation of vapor streams during an experiment. The maximum pressure of the unit is 30 bar with a stainless steel column. In addition to these standard features, there are also a number of optional features that are available upon request. These include vacuum activation, additional sensors or detectors, such as humidity and carbon dioxide, as well as sample preparation system. The system is flexible in the size and types of columns that can be loaded into the instrument, including our quartz glass column, as well as additional size columns for analyzing smaller and larger quantities of material. Next, we will move to the demo of loading and running a sample. To prepare a sample column for analysis, first take an empty sample column, Take a pinch of quartz wool and load it into the sample column. Push it up at least two to three inches into the sample column such that it lies in the ideal heating zone of the furnace. Weigh the empty sample column and record the weight. Then load your sample into the top of the sample column. Once again, record the weight. Take your sample column to the BTA, screw the sample column into the furnace. Next. Close the furnace and secure the clips at the top and bottom. Then close the door to the BTA. Now your sample is ready to begin analysis. On the computer, open the BTA software. 
This will take you to the software home screen where you will see the instrument schematic as well as all process variables. You have the option of manually controlling the instrument from this screen, including temperature, pressure, ramp rates, and gas flow rates. First ensure that the appropriate gases are attached to the instrument. Everything is appropriately set up both on the instrument and in the software, so we are ready to begin with the demo. Next, navigate to the Sessions tab and load the appropriate session for the analysis. In the Sessions tab, you can set up experimental methods for your material. You have the option to control all process variables, as well as set timings for each analysis step. This allows you to have pre-programmed experiments for sample activation, breakthrough analysis, desorption, and reactivation. In this example, you can see that we are controlling the system temperature, gas flow rates, pressure, blending valve configuration, and on-off signals for the mass spectrometer. Once the necessary session has been loaded, or a new session has been created, begin the analysis by pressing the Start button. The instrument will then automatically begin collecting data, and when the time is appropriate, the system will send a trigger which will turn on the mass spectrometer to begin collecting data. After data collection, the data can be analyzed in Microactive, where you can view the combined data from the BTA and the mass spectrometer. This allows users to generate sophisticated breakthrough reports. That is just a quick demonstration on how the BTA can be used to collect a breakthrough measurement in your lab. If you have any additional questions or would like to speak to someone regarding your specific application, fill out the form linked below or reach out to your sales representative.